boxingscene.com, legendary fighter, Hall of Fame fighter, Roy Jones Jr. says that Javante Davis needs to leave his own promotional company, Mayweather Promotions, and become a free agent. Um, I completely agree with this. Uh, Javante Davis is already a star at the 135 pound division. Um, he does very good pay per view. He did 200 pay per view buys with Leo Santa Cruz. He did 215,000 pay per view buys with Mario Barrios. He sells out arenas everywhere he goes. Um, I don't think he needs Floyd Mayweather in Mayweather promotions at this point in his career. We know he has millions of followers. Like I see, he sells out arenas. He's a, he's a massive name in the sport of boxing. When you think who is one of the biggest stars in boxing, you think of Javante Davis, Canelo Alvarez, Deontay Wilder, Errol Spence, and so on. Um, Javante Davis, I felt like he's been holding back by Floyd Mayweather at this point in his career. Yes, I salute Floyd Mayweather for um, creating Javante Davis' his name, his brand. I'm helping him become the fighter he is now. But Javante Davis, he's stuck at this point where he's fighting good opposition, but he's not fighting great opposition like Devin Haney. George Campbell's is junior, uh, Teofimo, Teofimo Lopez, uh, Josh Chandler, those type of fights. Fights that are very dangerous for Javante Davis, fights that we think he can lose against, okay? In order to become a it to become a better fighter, just anything in life to achieve your goals, you're gonna have to go through adversity. You're gonna have to walk through the fire, you're gonna struggle, but in the end of the day, those struggles will make you a better person, a better fighter at the end of the, at the end, okay? You would achieve your goals, even if you lose, have losses on your records, at least you went out there and you tried to give your best. I don't want your Ron Davis to be 20 years from now, why he, he ducked this person, this, that, and so forth. Um, you know, Javante Davis, if he becomes a free agent, he can get the best fights that he wants. He can get the Devin Haney's fight, the Ryan Garcia fights potentially, the Tia Fima Lopez fights, Regis Progueras, those type of fighters. Um, Floyd Mayweather is just holding him back. Like I said, Floyd Mayweather is extremely narcissistic and he's shown his behavior by announcing his press conference and his fight on a day of his own fighter's press conference. That makes no sense at all. Then he has the same date as a undisputed matchup is going, which is extort. I know I've said this, but who does that? This is a man desperate for attention. You're having a exhibition fight at the age of 44. Why do you keep coming back to boxing? The best you thing you can do for boxing is becoming a promoter and um, help these young fighters go get through boxing and not sign corrupt deals with Bob Arum. And you notice yourself because Bob Arum he, he signed you a crappy deal and you had to buy yourself out of it. So you would think naturally that Floyd Mayweather, who got out of a crappy deal, who became his own free agent, would, would give these life lessons to his fighters. But he doesn't. We know that Mickey Bay, I said that um, Floyd Mayweather has mismanaged him and not giving him big fights. We know that um, Malik, you know what I'm going to say, Richard Hawk Hitchens, he doesn't fight enough. He fights maybe once a year. Okay, you have E.J. Smith saying that Javante Davis should leave Floyd Mayweather. So you have all these people saying that Javante Davis needs to leave Floyd Mayweather. And that just should tell you something about Floyd Mayweather. He only cares about the attention on himself. He does not want Javante Davis to be better than him. And that's absolutely sad, okay? That's why I think that Javante Davis needs to go out there and walk through the lines of fire and be the best Javante Davis that he's going to be. If he can become a free agent after the knock Roley Romero out in six rounds, like I think he is, because I think Roley Romero... Be honest, has no chance to win this fight. I don't think this fight should be on pay-per-view, but so, but it's on pay-per-view, so so what? I'll still watch it. Um, you know, after this fight, he should sign a fight-by-fight -fight deal with Al Heyman and bet on himself. Because look, look at fighters who have bet on himself. Devin Haney. Devin Haney's had to go a long journey of trying to get undisputed fight. We know that Tia Lopez ducked him. Vasily Lomachenko ducked him. George Kent Bosa Jr. Was, was willing to duck him, but he finally got the fight against George Kent. Campbell's Jr. from Undisputed, and now he's signed a he's gonna sign a three fight deal with ESPN. That's absolutely beautiful. Look at Errol Spence; he's betting on himself right now. He came up coming back from a eye injury. He's fighting Jordanus Ugas, another champion. Look at Deontay Wilder; he bet on himself to fight Tyson Fury, who is one of, who is the best heavyweight in the heavyweight division. Okay, and many other fighters who have bet on themselves and become the best fighters they can possibly be. But Javante Davis will never will never know how truly good he is unless he fights the best opposition available. And that being said, he needs to leave Floyd Mayweather. Um, I don't want to keep repeating myself. I think that Javante Davis, if he can become a, his own free agent, he can get the Regis Progaris fights, the Devin Haney fights, and so on and so forth. I would like to see him go to 140 and try to become undisputed there or fight the winner of Devin Haney versus George Campbell Jr. 
That being said, though, to wrap this up, um, Floyd Mayweather, I just think that he doesn't, he's not going to give Toronto Davis any good things at this point in his career. Toronto Davis needs to carve out his own path. But to wrap this up, this is not seeing the dream. Rocky says his next is asleep. Aha, so another one. Peace.